How to create a character's masking text effect with Pika Labs and CapCut. I'll teach you in three minutes, turning you into an AI video pro. Let's get started. First, open Pika's DM window and create your ideal video using prompts and images. If you're not sure how to use Pika, check out my previous videos. After generating the video, click on Download and find the seed in the video file name. Copy it. Now, re-enter Create. Input the same prompt, but this time, add the seed and use a new image. You can modify this new image the way you want, whether it's text or drawings. We got a great result. Next, try tweaking the prompt a bit and you'll get some interesting effects. For example, if you add raining heavily before the prompt, the text in the generated video will have a jumping effect. You can also experiment with camera parameters like camera rotate CW. Although the generated results are less than satisfactory, however, if we play the videos backwards and connect them together, there will be unexpected effects. From experiments, we found that if you add something in the image but place it behind your main character, Pika respects this layering when you give your seed prompt again. If there are moving elements in the foreground, especially things like smoke or rain, they will interact with the new elements in the image. If you find the above methods cumbersome and have too many uncertainties, no worries. CapCut can help you achieve more effects, and it's very easy to use. Similarly, generate the video you need in Pika, then open CapCut and drag the video into the timeline. Click on the Text button, choose your preferred text style, create your text content, and adjust its position and size in the video. Next, select the main video track, copy it, and paste it to create a new picture-in-picture. -picture. Select the picture-in-picture, -picture, click on Cutout and choose Auto Cutout. You'll see it has automatically cropped your character. Since text doesn't support layer management, you won't be able to place it behind the character. So, choose the text, click Create Compound Clip. And now you can manage the text layers. Now you've easily created a text overlay effect on your character. You can see that the video is very stable, and CapCut greatly reduces the text production process. You can also add animations to text and compound clips according to your creativity. Select the text or compound clip, click on Animation, and you'll find a wide range of effects to choose from. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. This is Pika Fans, I'm Yan, and we'll see you next time.